Okay, everybody. Uh, new question. Question 30. The diagram below shows two paramedics, P and Q, trying to revive a man. The man's heart had stopped beating after a drowning incident. He was unconscious and he had stopped breathing. So, this uh, is what we call CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. You can actually uh, Google this CPR and you will see, uh, you know, maybe a video of how it is done. So basically, the man is unconscious, uh, and two of the rescuers here, uh, also known as paramedics, okay, uh, will be trying to revive him. Okay, so what is paramedic P? Okay, the man, uh, the the one standing up here, I think he's a man. Okay, uh, you see he has his two hands on the patient's chest. Alright, so what is the paramedic P trying to provide for the patient to help him survive? Okay. Uh, eh, sorry, P is this this uh, person here on the left, the one that's uh, blowing into the nose and mouth of the lead of the of the uh, man who's unconscious. All right? Why is he? Why is uh, this uh, paramedic blowing uh, into uh, the the person's uh, uh, mouth? All right. So uh, you know, you're supposed to uh, figure out or understand what the paramedic P is trying to provide right for the victim to survive okay so uh you know that for anybody for because uh, the man uh, the victim all right uh, the man's heart that had stopped beating all right uh he needs to stay alive so what do do living things need to stay alive why do you think uh p is blowing into the person's uh, mouth okay uh, and what gas, you know, when you blow, air gets into the lungs, right? So, which, what uh, of the, which part of the air is actually the patient in need of, okay? And the answer is, of course, oxygen, right? Because uh, uh, all living things need uh, air, food, and water. And uh, we need air because in, in air, one of the components of air is oxygen. And we cannot survive without oxygen, right? Unlike uh, plants, plants take in carbon dioxide uh, during photosynthesis and give out oxygen. But even so, during uh, in the absence of sunlight, in the absence of light, uh, plants too need oxygen to survive. Okay, so uh, but us humans, we cannot photosynthesize. So definitely, uh, the part of the air, the component of the air that we breathe in, that we really really need, is oxygen. Okay, so the answer here is oxygen. Uh, as you can see, uh, you don't have to put CCR here. You don't have to uh, state your claim uh, and provide evidence or comparison or reasoning because the question is quite simple. Okay, uh, what is paramedic P providing for the patient to survive? And the answer is simply uh, oxygen. Okay, uh, if you look at uh, the other question, right? Which organ was paramedic Q trying to revive when he pressed repeatedly on the patient's chest? So if you can see, uh, Q is the one standing up and he's pressing repeatedly on the uh, patient's chest. All right. So uh, actually, it's not uh, compressing. Uh, it's not pressing just the chest, but uh, because inside the chest there is the heart, right? So that's the part uh, component that uh, or the organ that he's actually trying to compress and release. Okay, so the answer here is the heart. All right, the heart is uh, what uh, paramedic Q is trying to uh, activate again because this but this uh, patient his heart has stopped beating. So uh, the paramedic Q is trying his best to. Uh, you know, make the heart uh, pump again by helping it, uh, by pumping the chest uh, so that the heart will uh, start to pump again, okay? Uh, at this point, I just need to warn everybody, do not do this uh, on your own. Uh, you know, uh, you know, you, you think it's uh, something that everybody can do. Actually, no, you need proper training. So, uh, do not uh, play with your friend, you know, uh, by trying to compress the somebody else's chest because it is quite a complicated procedure if you do it wrongly you can hurt your friend all right so uh, leave it to the adults the trained adults to do this you okay, do not do this on your own but what the paramedic Q is trying to do when he presses the chest of the person whose heart has stopped beating 
is ready to pump it again. You know, with the hope that when he pumps the chest, the heart will start to uh, re be revived, right, and pump again. So name two systems in the patient that must work together to help him to survive. So as you can see, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, paramedic P is blowing oxygen, all right, into the respiratory system, all right. So we use the, our respiratory system to take in oxygen, right, in the lung. So uh, paramedic P is trying to put oxygen into the respiratory system, all right. And then whereas uh, paramedic Q is trying to pump the heart again, right, trying to get the heart to, to start pumping again. And uh, the heart is actually part of the circulatory system, all right. Okay. Uh, so the, the heart is actually part of the circulatory system. Okay. So these are the two components that uh, must work together in order for the patient to survive. So what are the two? What are the two system? Respiratory. Must learn the spelling. Okay. And circulatory. Circulatory system. Okay. Right, so these are the two that you need to put. Now, please look at all the questions A, B, and C. There is no uh, compare. There is no sorry. There is no C, C, E, R. There is no claim, compare, evidence, and reasoning because this is quite an easy question. All right, uh, and all you need to do is just name, state. All right, or just write down the answer without any explanation. Okay. All right. So with that, thank you very much. Uh, if, uh, for every question that you watch uh, in these videos that are of ours, try to put in the uh, comment section if you can what you've learned from it, okay? Uh, and uh, that would really help, right? Uh, to encourage the teachers who make the videos to understand whether uh, you have seen it and whether you've understood what they are trying to teach you from these videos, okay? So with that, thank you very much.